in this video, I'm going to introduce you to this new very interesting project called as LP Music Caps. This project is designed to generate descriptive captions for music using two approaches. First, transforming music tags into captions with OpenAI's GPT 3.5 Turbo API and then directly translating music audio to captions using a trained cross-model encoder-decoder model. Let me show you its code and a quick demo and also some instructions as how you can install it locally and then play around with it. So let's get started. On your screen, you can see this GitHub repo from them. Here you can find some of the instructions and other details as how they have created it. They also have a quick TLDR where they show how it works. In the first step, it generates pseudo caption using LLMs. For example, you give it an instruction, also tag list, and we feed it into this GPT 3.5, and it generates the caption. Secondly, we can also pass some music captioning model to this decoder encoder from the in an audio format, and then it generates the pseudo caption for it. Similarly, we can also transfer learning with small human annotated caption data set. And this is a bit of an advanced use case. Okay, now if you want to install it locally, let me show you how you can do it. The first step you need to do is to git clone this GitHub repo and let me scroll up a bit. Click on this green button and copy this URL of this repo and git clone. Once you have cloned it, then make sure that you have Python installed and Torch installed. Once that's done, just cd into that clone directory and install all the requirements. Afterwards, cd to this directory, LLM captioning, and from there, just run this python run.py with these tags. And tags, you can use any tag, music related. For instance, you can use mail voice, medium tempo, high tempo, beatbox, and the list goes on and on, and then it will generate the captions accordingly. I tried it out locally. One thing I found out that once you go into this CD LMPC LM, LLM captioning, you don't really see any run.py file. So maybe this, uh, as I, it is very new and I'm trying it out very fresh. So maybe it's still not there, but maybe when you will be trying in few days, it will be there. So let me again show you what I mean. So if I go to LMPC LLM captioning directory, this is LM, LPMC LLM captioning. And here you can see that there is no run.py. So when you try to run it, it doesn't run it errors out. I also tried it out with generate.py, didn't work. So maybe something for the authors to look into whenever they could that um, there is an, maybe a typo or maybe they need to update the run.py or it is still in development. Anyway, if you want, this is for the tag to caption, the step one above. And then for the second one, if you want to do audio to caption, you can simply go to demo and then run python app.py and it will run it for you with the samples provided already. Let me now show you a simple demo which is present on their Hugging Face page and I'll drop the link of um, this GitHub repo. From there you can jump to it in the video description. Okay, so in this demo what you can do, you can either drop your own audio here and then click submit and it will detect it. Let me first try out with a few examples they had provided. Let me go with the orchestra.wave, the last one. Just click here. It has loaded, let me play it. It's a bit big, maybe let me go with the smaller one. Yeah, this is one, maybe what is, what about folk? Let's waste, I think let's, let's go with it so that it will complete quickly. I'll play it for you. Gotta take deep breaths when you exhale, one, two, three. And then you'll hear you all if you listen close to me. So that was a folk music. Now let's submit it to see on the right hand side what caption this model generates. It is processing it while it happens. Really a huge shout out to all of these researchers who are mentioned here. They have done a wonderful job. Really cool stuff. It is processing. So let's wait for it to finish. You can see this light gray bar which is traveling. So it will take a bit of a time. And they also have given an ETA on right hand side around 73.3 seconds. While this happens, if you want to read more about this, you can go to this um, 
Cornell University's Axiv uh, page where you can read the abstract and on the right hand side you can download the full paper if you want to delve into more detail around how it was created and all the nitty gritties around the research. Okay, let's go back to our hugging face. There you go. So it already has generated the captions for this music. So it has very rightly identified that it is a folk music piece and there's a female vocalist singing melodically in the lead and so on and so forth. In the next example, I have just selected one audio file from my local uh, machine and then I have uploaded it. Let me play it for you. This is uh, just a simple song. Okay, so now let me submit it and let's see if it is able to decipher it or not. And you can see that the amount of time it is showing on the right hand side it is 216 seconds so let's wait for it to come back it is still progressing it while it happens let me show you one more thing quickly so this is the github uh, presence of the researcher who who is behind this lp music caps and i believe he's from daijon south korea and there are a lot of other good stuff do in his good github repo as you can see that besides lp music caps he has something around music text representation speech to music so i believe if you are looking to do more research into this audio with generative ai a good place to research i'll be spending more time on his github repo huge huge shout out to this guy okay, let's go back okay wow now it has produced it. It says the low quality recording features a hip hop song that consists of a mellow female voice and blah blah blah. So and then okay. So I believe it's not a female wife uh, voice, it is a male voice, but maybe a bit thinner, so that is why it, it got confused there. But still I believe um it was able to do something and you can see that it has divided into 10 second chunks and then has given us the caption good stuff and i believe that it this will uh, really evolve more and really i could see a lot of use cases around this anyway i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any thoughts please share them in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel as it helps a lot thank you very much